Welcome back to Neva. <laughs> I'm Faye. Peter Piper. I'm Esme. Stupid Christmas. I'm Angel. I like stuff that breaks. For today's episode, we are getting our inspiration from... We have another special giveaway for you guys. We're gonna be giving away $1,000 again. We want you guys to be rich. <laughs> if you wanna be rich, make sure you guys subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't already. And if you're enjoying this episode, give us a huge thumbs up and let us know healthy ways how you guys let out rage. Go. We are gonna be going to Rage Ground and we're gonna be breaking stuff, smashing stuff, and then taking the debris from the pieces that we break and making an accessory, and then making a whole fit to go with that accessory. I'm not angry, but I'm ready to rage. Rage! A good little story about Faith. We were in the club in London. Me and Angel are at a table. <laughs> We are just dancing at the table and we're trying to look for Faith and we just see Faith go looking for us through the crowd. Everybody she stops by is like <laughs> I'm like roar, roar. <laughs> But have you like ever just broken stuff in your house? No, my mom would whip my ass. Same. I would just get mad sometimes and I didn't have a way to release it. So I'd be taking stuff in the backyard and break it. What I would do is scream in my pillow. Oh, I like, scream in the pillow. Yeah. I only had like a build a bear to twist its head and like I have a cousin and she's from the hood and I was telling her about how I was getting bullied by some girls at school and she was like, oh you are? Okay, I'm gonna teach you what you're gonna have to do. So we took old books from my grandma's house. What? I was just beating them and stuff. Yeah, so maybe that's how I learned how to release my rage. This angel's gonna go the most crazy in the rage room because that little ball of festering pus. <laughs> Festering bottle of pus. I seem very nice and sweet, which I am, but on the inside, I just have a lot of stuff in there. And it's Trauma. <laughs> we are here at Rage Room and we are gonna so the challenge is we have to DIY an accessory with all the bits and pieces that we broke up and create a fit. One man trash is another man's treasure. Why don't we just break, change our clothes, and hop in this room? Let's go. <laughs> Everything was just like <laughs> I definitely got some stuff out. never had a printer going up, so maybe that's why I was like, damn it, I always wanted you. I couldn't have you. <laughs> My mama told me to clean up the room, what? and you know what? I'm scared. I was just thinking of this boy hey, ha, ha, ha. that I hate. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, shit. I broke my nail on the inside of my glove. I'm gonna hit it. Stupid Christmas. After I destroyed my stuff in the rage room, I felt really good. I felt tired. My adrenaline was pumping and I just let out a lot of rage. So we have rage the house. Now we need to go to Santi Alley and find our pieces. We are here at Santi Alley. Faye's trying to get an alley dog and Esme. Hola, tia. I'm actually trying to get an alley dog right now. As you can see, they're right behind me and they're looking nice and juicy. Oh my. <laughs> Santee Alley is so lit. It's so crazy down there, but so fun. And there's so much cool stuff to find. Okay, so we are about to shop for our pieces, for our fit. I only need one thing, so I'm ready. I'm not even nervous. What do you need? Peter Piper. I'm gonna be making keyboard earrings and also a keyboard sweater. I 
don't know what I'm gonna get. What? You know how school projects go up until the day it's due and you're like, oh wait, it's due. That's this moment right now. Let's hit it. I just ran into the first shop that we were posted at. There is tons of like sparkly stuff, which I love. I broke a mirror, which I'm going to use for my little DIY. So I'm thinking like, what could I do? I was thinking I could make a bag and I can use the wires as the handle. I can take the motherboard and attach it to some clips and make clips. So right now I'm about to get a alley dog. It's a hot dog wrapped in bacon. I don't know how sanitary that is, but I'm about to grub. I just saw this belt and it actually has like mirror glass incorporated with it. So we went to Santee Alley. I thought I wanted to do a belt, but then I was like, my brain. Angel might be my biggest competition in this challenge because she's really good at DIY and this is like a DIY challenge. Brain blast! Okay, what if I buy this bag, I take the silver loops out and I put those wires that I got inside of it. Y'all, I'm dead ass. I don't know what to do but I look good. Right now, I just came to the store. They have a ton of really cool hair stuff and accessories. It's called Jenny's Fashion. If you guys come here, definitely hit them up. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> and I am gonna make some motherboard clips. <laughs> this is a little baby. Like, if you were to look inside my brain right now, like, really look into my brain, there'd be nothing. This is a knockoff Balenciaga sweater. It already has some distressed pieces coming off of it, so I can already see myself make the keys like hang off of it. I might buy this right now. So I have to customize with glass. Faith was wearing a corset today, and it feels pretty sturdy, and I think I could just stick pieces of glass and mirror onto the corset. I need to go follow the tatas, because I'm pretty sure this is where the corsets are. The clappers is out. How much is this? 160. Isn't it we could do 100? Cause it's not real, right? I can buy it right now for 100. Okay, cool. Last but not least, I'm gonna go buy a fire green kind of cyber wig. So I am getting snatched right now. I'm getting my corset fitted. <gasps> Waist wear. I'm just that little blondish one right there. Just remember I said this now, I'm winning this challenge. Yeah. Just remember I said that. <laughs> Come on. We gotta let her hang out. I'm coming to destroy your planet. JK, I'm gonna save it by making girls feel better about themselves and be more confident. We are back in the studio. We are gonna DIY our little pieces that we got from Raid. So first, I'll just show the pieces that I brought. I'm doing some keyboard pieces with keyboard keys. So I brought this bad oh, boy. Oh, they pop off easily. Ooh. I'll be like popping these off. Also have some that are already loose that I broke. I got this sweater from Santiali. Balenciaga? It's fake. It's fake Balenciaga. It says Balenciaga. It does? No. <laughs> Mine looks literally like a box of trash. I found motherboards. The mothership. I found a whole bunch of wires. Ooh, it looks like candy. <laughs> the nerd ropes. <laughs> oh yeah, I got cassettes and cassette tapes. Last but not least, I got a couple of clips from Santi Alley. Hopefully, I can make something with them. So in my box, there is two corsets that I got from Santi Alley. I couldn't really make up my mind and what base I wanted to use. There's literally nothing in here but glass. I think I, I think I need to like wear gloves when I do this because it's like sharp glass. So we have all the materials and we have one hour to get everything done. Starting now. Ah, wait. So right now, I'm gonna be gluing some wires together and I'm gonna be making some hoop earrings. What I'm going to try to do is make a clear, transparent, thick choker band, put some of the pieces of the mirror on the glass to it. So That's I cute. just made I like my first here. earring. Oh my God, I made it. <laughs> Is that a choker? Yeah. Oh, cute. So now I'm going to glue the glass pieces onto the choker. Basically what I'm gonna be doing 
is getting tweezers and distressing it, and then I'm gonna cut a hole in some more of these keys, put the thread through the hole and like tie it somehow, or maybe have a bunch of like keys dangling from all around the sweater. I feel like that'd be super sick. I'm in focus mode, but I'm trying to like put the vinyl into the cassette box. It won't just be clear, it'll be like a kind of printed. All right, I'm gonna just start gluing. <laughs> Nobody hugged me today. Yeah, wait, damn it. All right, so I'm done, so y'all can. We are back in the studio. We are here with our homeboy, Chris from One Off. My name is Chris Bailey. I'm here today because I'm an artist. Uh, I design clothes. I just started designing a line called One Off three years ago. I was basically just like trying to create this connection between like all secondhand objects. Right now, I'm in a phase where I'm trying to make garments out of things that aren't really like wearable. I've used a sewing machine before and it wasn't, I, I need to practice. I'm just gonna wing it, so let's get it started. At the end of the day, practice makes perfect. You gotta fuck up a lot of times, though. True. Yeah, definitely. You know? uh... Do you know what a rage room is? What is it, a place where you go and just break? Yeah. Yes, basically. Rage out? Yeah. Did you guys do the printer? Like, have you ever yeah. seen Office it's Space? I went somewhere, broke a bunch of and now you're gonna make clothes out of it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, well, let's see what it is. Okay, who do you want to see go first? Pick Faith, though. Pick Faith. No, I want to see what Angel got first. Damn it, why do they always pick me? No way, I don't want to go first. It's, it's too late, sis. You going first. No, you go first. <laughs> yeah. Uh -uh. So she's over Angel's here trying to whisper. First. All right, y'all got to play rock, paper, scissors or some Yeah. Sh yeah. So this is what I made. All right. Peep the earrings. Oh, you got the earrings to go with it, okay. Basically, I was just smashing the keyboards, going crazy. Angel was helping me too. So I decided to make my own like DIY keyboard earrings. All right. The earrings, that's a very cool oh. original idea. I just made it like keyboard dangling off a distressed sweater. But yeah, this is what I created. I like the sweater piece and stuff, but I really love that you actually went and did your own earrings. Yeah, good job. Thank you. I love that she went and got the like bootleg Balenciaga sweater. I really like this, Faith. My one thing I wish you did was like took the keys and actually like spelled something out. Or oh, yeah, like, yeah, like you could have done cool. something with them. Cool. I really like it. Okay, so the earrings, that's a, that's a tight idea. I like that you used the fake Balenci sweater. That's pretty cool. I would go a little bit more dramatic with the keys on the sweater. I mean, the only thing that I would say is like, I guess maybe if you had more time, like more keys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I only hit the front. See, the back, she blank. <laughs> yeah, because like when you do something crazy kind of like this, you gotta be a little bit dramatic. But the earrings by themselves, like, I think you should, like, keep hold on to that and, Thank like, you. rock those. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Good job. You ain't gonna clap? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's gonna go next? You pick. <laughs> Angel. <laughs> Stompers? Open. Huh? Cute. Oh, okay. So cute. All right, so for my inspiration, I was going ham on this printer, letting out all my anger and trauma. I was like, cool, I'm gonna use all these old things and like try to make kind of like a cool futuristic, like cyborg-y type of fit. So I went and I got myself a wig. Then I got a whole bunch of wires. So I made earrings with the wires, like some cute hoop earrings. Angel's look was very camp. It came out with a cyborg aesthetic. I made this necklace, and then I took the clips and I put two motherboards on them, and then I made this bag out of like an old cassette, and then I used a wire to hold the handle. 
I really liked her outfit and I thought the clips were the best part. Um, this fit is like giving me Area 51 vibes. If you guys haven't seen that episode, Make sure you watch it so you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, this outfit is fire. I love my little futuristic fits. I just think the hair clips are super cool because they look dead ass like the hair clips you could buy from the store. The little bag is really cute, but my favorite is the hair clip. So, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> this fit is crazy. But the hair clip, that, that's fly. This is fly for sure. This is like art right here, you Arts know what and I'm crap. saying? Yeah. Um, but it still looks like functional, so I think that's cool. Good job, Angel. Thank you, humans. My turn. Esme, let's see it. I'm excited for this. Esme, we're ready for ya. Uh, I... Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow, okay. Very bomb. So my accessories are like this choker type of bracelet and a matching choker. I use like PVC material and I just like glued the pieces of glass onto the material. Uh, a literal safety hazard. So picking out the corset, I don't know if I want to do a blue or white one. And then this corset was cuter and it was kind of giving me like wedding bridal vibes. So I was like, am I getting married? No, <laughs> but I wanted to do like stained glass, like like actual glass window from a church. But I'm about to break down um, God's house for some stained glass, so I just, Picked up these pieces of stained glass from Santi Alley. All right, so I love this fit. I like the way you applied the glass, how it's not just like random, like it's going up this side and going up that side. And I like the choker a lot. Everything looks chef's kiss. Same with Faith. My favorite piece is the corset because it's just like super statement-y. Only thing, I feel like the practicality of this piece, like if you were actually wearing this mm -hmm. and went out with this, like you would definitely get some cuts. Esme almost killed herself when she looked down by stabbing herself in the neck. I didn't die. <laughs> Girl, you ain't getting no hugs when you wearing this. Yeah. True. You ain't yeah, getting no hugs. Nobody you. hugging you. I mean, the mirror, I keep trying to see if I can see myself in there. And yeah, this thing, like, the choker was giving me anxiety because I'm like, that's a, <laughs> that's like a, that's a sharp piece of glass right there on your neck. Like, <laughs> don't look down, say she's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, Esme. We gonna get you, you some therapy me. and all that. It's all good. I don't need the rake room. <laughs> All right, so good job, S. <laughs> then give it some anticipation. Anticipation. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, she said some anticipation. I was like, what is that? Angel, your look pretty tight. I can't lie, like you did that. The bag, that's like the best piece to me. Shop my Depop. It'll be on there. Yo, Faith, I really liked your idea. To be honest, you know what I'm saying. I think like. You know, given more time, it could have came out like super crazy. Like, Esme, that thing, like, I got anxiety. Like, you gotta stay right there. You know, she's there. like, what you gotta say? Yeah, you gotta Told stay the right bracelet. there. Don't move too much. I gotta choose a winner. Should we stand so you get your last look? Yeah, let me get, let me get, let me get the, the whole thing. I say that the winner is. Who's the winner, chicken dinner? Who's the winner? I say Faith. Because. Hey! Because you can like, she, you can actually wear this thing. You know what I'm saying? Who's the one you're calling? You don't get no hugs. Yeah, she don't get no hugs. We don't get no hugs. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss this. Give us a thumbs up and comment down below on how you will let out your rage. <laughs>